What's up guys, welcome to your seventh tutorial in CSS. Last time we talked more about descendant selectors. And this time I want to talk to you guys about something called a child selector. Now with descendant selectors, the child element appeared anywhere as long as it was inside the main parent element. So as you see right here, the color red would be applied to the first heading as long as it was anywhere inside the div element. And it didn't matter if it was a child or a grandchild or how it was related it was as long as it was inside. But what if we actually wanted to apply it to only the child? Well for this you need something called a direct child selector. And what this does is apply the child only the declaration if it's a direct child of the div element. So to do this instead of adding a space between it you add the greater than sign or the sign above the period on your keyboard and what this does is apply the color red only to the h1 elements if they're a direct child of the div element so let's see how this actually works we're gonna start by typing a div right here and next we're gonna add a h1 element as a direct child and we'll type this will work and then we're going to close off our heading 1 and then close off our div. And next we're going to make another div tag right here. But instead of adding the direct child as the h1, we're going to make it an em. And this is the uh, a, italics symbol or tag. So, and then next we're going to add the h1 and type this won't work. And then we're going to close off our h1 close off our EM then close off our div as you can see in the first div we added the H1 was a direct child of its div which was its parent but in this the H1 is a grandchild of div because because the EMs are automatically I mean directly surrounding it so let's save this and take a look at what it looks like. As you can see right here, the first div element worked because it was a direct child. And the second one didn't work and it didn't apply the red CSS because it was not a direct child and it was actually a grandchild. And this is how you can use direct childs to alter your appearance using CSS. Remember the direct selector, which is a greater than sign. Now, next we'll be covering sibling selectors, but if you didn't quite understand everything we went over today, you can go to my website, thenewboston.com, and I'll cover everything we went over. Thank you.